Iak Shimaj, welcome to Six Win. My name is Borat, and this is uh, Samatat Bagitav from my Kazakhstan village. I did a better Borat back in the day. It's it's not good anymore. Uh, but I am Matt. Great, great success. <laughs> and nice. this is and this is Chris. And we're here to talk about another matchup in our best male actor bracket. Um, no surprise. We're talking about Sasha Baron Cohen, who most recognizably plays Borat, um, and he is our number eleven seed going up against Robert Downey Jr., our number six seed. Do you want to kick us off, or do you want to close? I'll kick us off. Why not? Um, all right. So this is a bit of a, I would say maybe obscure. I don't think a lot of people would think Sasha Baron Cohen on a best actor of all time bracket. The reason I put him in, it's a different kind of acting. And it's the type of acting where like, I don't know that anyone, aside from maybe like the jackass guys, uh, that have been able to like stay in character during like super high pressure situations um, because to my knowledge, I don't know if there's some Hollywood magic going on behind the scenes, if some of the stuff is, like, staged, but I did hear, like, in the movie Borat, when he boarded that RV with those, like, frat guys, yeah. like, they actually sued him for making them look bad, so I believe it. I'm just gonna say I, I believe that he's actually going in and doing all this stuff, and, like, while it's not, like, feature film, Daniel Day-Lewis-type acting, something has to be said for, and, like, like, Borat... I'm a comedy guy, I always say that. Uh, the scene where it, there's a level of genius to it, in Borat particularly, when he goes and interviews that, like, professor of humor. He's like a <laughs> professor of humor at, like, a university. Yeah. And basically makes kind of a fool out of the guy. Like, the part where uh, Borat's like, how about me making love to a mother-in-law? And then the guy's like, no, Americans would not find that funny. The irony is that there's a professor of humor telling Borat that Americans would not find that funny when the reality, the, I guess, irony is that pretty much everyone watching that is laughing their asses off. So just that level, there's like, it's silly, it's wacky, but there's a level of genius to it too. Um, now to stay on the comedy train... Robert Downey Jr. And I and I want to approach this subject um, desperately, like, not desperately, uh, kind of, I'm kind of walking on eggshells here because I know it's a very, very... Delicately. Very delicately, that's the word. Thank you. Um, Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder. Whew. Okay, so I, I know uh, some of the history, not a ton of it, uh, so I'm going into this with a little bit of ignorance because I know Robert Downey Jr. does blackface in it. And, and f from what I've witnessed as a viewer from afar is the only time that I've ever seen that be done and have it be, like, okay... Like, I've seen interviews with different, like, African-American actors. I know Jamie Foxx is one of them. And it seems like most people, like most African Americans were okay with it. In fact, it seems like mostly the people who've had a problem with it are white people. Um, but I've noticed that the only way you can like, I guess, pull it off, even that sounds bad, in a movie is when you're playing a character that is dumb enough to try it. And they, you know, that is what we saw in Tropic Thunder. And I think they did it in It's Always Sunny, like Mac did it. And I think any other time where it's been done, it's been like in poor taste. And I'm certainly not a fan. But in Tropic Thunder, you know, it seems to be pretty much renowned that like, he killed it. Like, like he did a really, really good job. And that scene where um, Ben Stiller's character uh, uh, said something like, I'm leaving people. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Huh? I what do you mean, you people? Uh, so, just a couple of thoughts that came to my mind. I love this matchup, though. Um, 
but I will probably have to go, ooh, I'm probably going to have to go Robert Downey Jr. strictly off his role. I know he's big in Iron Man, but strictly off his role in Drop His Thunder. <laughs> I thought he was so good. I'm going RDJ. What do you think? I know I went long. Yeah, this is, you know, as you described it, it's like, these are two, like, obviously we talk about Robert Downey Jr. and Tropic Thunder, and he's done more. Again, he's been Sherlock Holmes in a couple of movies. Right. Um, he's, our Ameri- he's our American Sherlock Holmes compared to Benedict Cumberbatch, you know. Um, and uh, he's Iron Man uh, most probably currently famously and does a great job as Tony Stark. Um, but yeah, his role in Tropic Thunder is really a full, not only physical transformation in the same way that a lot of Sasha Baron Cohen's roles are. Right. Sasha Baron Cohen is just a, a regular Brit. I think he's also yeah. from the UK. He could mm. be like from Wales or so, Welsh or something, but I think he's British. Mm. And so he, of course, has like his character, Ali G, who's kind of like a rapper guy yeah. and like interviews <laughs> people. Um, like a almost like a early '90s like rap style. He has mm. uh, Borat. Um, he was the the kind of antagonist in Talladega Nights, yeah. the French, French uh, yeah. race car driver. Mm. And um, uh, we don't talk about Bruno. Nope. And uh, so, but I I think I think you're onto something. I think the kind of acting that Sasha Baron Cohen does. Is not rep- is obviously not represented anywhere else on the bracket. No, it's it's, yeah. it's not. Mm. You are yourself, and then the director yells action, and you get into character, and you do the thing for a couple minutes, and then they yell cut. Mm. Some of the stories I heard when he was filming Borat was like he would intentionally not sh- like. I think he stayed with like some very like rednecky people you describe them, but I, that might not be fair. But just people that lived in more like southern states yeah. and like stayed with them for a few days. Um, and to convince them that he was really some just like foreigner from Kazakhstan trying to learn about America, he didn't shower for like multiple weeks before meeting them. So he would have like a smell that they would assume like he was a foreigner. Like he totally That's becomes a character. Mm-hmm. I, I think there's an argument that there's not anybody better at performing as a character and acting as a character than Sasha Baron Cohen. Um, now if we're talking about best film actor, Mm -hmm. that is something different. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, so, you know, that's tough. Um, for me, because of that, I would pick Sasha Baron Cohen because I think it's something that's beyond movies. It's beyond film. It's acting and performance that's on a different level. Yeah. You know, one thing you said about Sasha Baron Cohen actually reminded me of Robert Downey Jr. A line that he has in Tropic Thunder He's like, man, I don't drop character until I've done the DVD commentary. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's so perfect for any like method actor or you know Sasha Baron Cohen. I you, I think you put him in that category, method acting. Like, yeah. it's, it's like it's different, but it's you know so, um, so Robert Downey Jr., Sasha Baron Cohen, who won? The winner did turn out to be Robert Downey Jr. I think probably because of his more popular roles. Like, Sacha Baron Cohen has, like, these these movies that are kind of, like, blur the lines. Like, is this really... Is he really... Is all this real? (laughs) Or is, like, it's staged? Like, these are other actors. But obviously, Robert Downey Jr., very well known right now and and very much in in popular culture. So I think that probably is why. But they're both great. The Iron Man stands. Yep. Yeah, they are both great. 